and he was going to tell you, then everything would have been over. Tell what? I didn't love her. I don't know what it was. We've uh, busted out of there. Any plans for later? In case of me and you on the mega lash? I think probably not, actually. Uh, why? Well, because firstly, we've signed a form promising not to drink for the next 72 hours, and secondly, because you left a fat boy to die in the sea. Uh, actually, um, yeah, I could use some help I'm trying to find my way back to Soho. Oh, well, there's your best problem. <laughs> Best Christmas ever. I can't wait to meet your family. Yeah. See the little spot. Which one is my house? Oh my god. Look at it. It looks like it's been. her killer was a colleague. Who had the most opportunity to kill Zoe? There's just one problem with that theory. She walked in. I just wondered if you'd want to take my number and maybe we can continue this chat sometime. No. I'm joking, yeah. <laughs> She killed Zach. Now it's time to kill her back. It's not going to break my heart if you see things in photos. I was curious about you. I think maybe I shouldn't be allowed out of a box for at least a year. Shouldn't you be having these thoughts quietly inside your head while you're trying to get me to bed? That would make much more sense, yeah. I would say this play deals with incredibly topical issues, but in an yes. oblique way. So we we have stories of fake news, um, physical and sexual abuse, um, protests, protest. Uh, yeah, it, it just every day we come in. I'm going to tell my story about Katrina. 
I'm writing this story with, with my, my daughter. daughter. <laughs> well, she's writing it, and I'm telling it. And time travel and side stories. I make the whole thing sort of like a tapestry. You slept with his wife. Paid Louise to come before you. And you lied. You lied to my face again and again. I was just trying to protect you. You're a coward. Did you have an erection? I want to say no. For the love of God! 